All right, in this video, I'm about to talk about what's happening in the world and what I think is about to happen in the future. So if you don't know, they're defunding the police. Now, for those who don't know what that means, it means they're stopped, they're done paying for the police. So we're gonna have less police officers because they're getting fired, and some of them are quitting because they're not getting paid as much. All right, and I was just listening to the news, so that's where I got this information from, so that I'm not making this up. All right, now I'm gonna tell you guys how it started. So it started with this whole Black Lives Matter movement. You know, they had George Floyd over here dying from a police officer. And if you ask my opinion on Black Lives Matter, I feel like it was all it was all a setup. It was all a plan for them to be able to make police look bad. So then they could start defunding the police and we'll have no problem with it. All right. Because people if, nowadays after this whole Black Lives Matter movement, people hear that the police are getting defunded and all of a sudden they're all they're all happy. Right. They're all happy and excited right now. And if you ask my opinion on the Black Lives Matter movement, I feel like it was one a setup and two. I feel like the nigga George Floyd, there's something we don't know about him. There's a whole bunch of people talking about he was a Freemason, all right? I would not be slightest bit of, I would not be surprised in the slightest, all right? Now, I'm not saying Black Lives Matter is a dumb movement. Obviously, Black Lives Matter, but, like, if we really break it down, why would you, why would you need a white person holding a sign protesting that a black person's lives matter? Because let's be honest here, most of the people protesting are white. Now, back to how this is all a setup and this is all a plan. This is all a setup because... They want us, they wanted to defund the police and they wanted us to be fine with it. Cause if they would have defunded the police like a year or two ago, we probably would have had some problems. We probably would have rebelled and been like, wait, why are they taking away our police? All right, but then they made the police look bad so they could defund them easily, all right? Now, let me tell you how, the, how this all plays into their part. Now, when I say they, I mean the elites, all right? So this all helps them out because all of a sudden now everyone's excited you know oh get the get the get these faggot police out of here get these police out of here all right but pretty soon when the world starts getting hectic all right th this is all part of a plan to, to scare us because then w when we realize that we have less police it's going to make us feel less protected all right like we have less protection and it's all part of a plan to scare us all right they're all they're trying to scare everyone on this planet everyone that's not an elite they're trying to scare them all right it's all part of their plan all right so they're trying to have make us feel like we're less protected that's this is all part of their plan like they're playing for the they're playing for the future in the future they want us to feel like we're less protected when we have less police now i know what's funny all these protesters talking about oh get rid of the police but when they get when they get hit by a car because they're protesting in the middle of the street all of a sudden when their leg break because they're because they just got ran over they're all like call the police call the police aren't you protesting and get them out of here <laughs> like these people are protesting and get rid of police but if something go bad, who's the first nigga you call? All right, so this is all part of their plan. No one's thinking clearly. All these protesters aren't thinking clearly. All right, so this is all part of their plan to scare us. All right, in the long game, we're going to feel like we have no protection. It's all part of their plan because when the second quarantine hits, a lot of people are not going to have the police to call. And they're going to start. They're gonna be all scared like they, like, they, like they have no protection. All right, so I just thought I'd break that down. Hopefully you guys understood what's happening. Basically, to sum it up, um, this the whole defund the police thing, the whole riots, the whole protest, it was all it was all set up to get rid of the police so we could feel less protected, and then they're gonna strike more fear into us. All right, now just just don't let just don't let them strike fear into you. That's all I can really tell you. Just don't let all this news stuff scare you. Me personally, I look at the news and I just I just fucking laugh. So half the shit is comedic as hell. Um, the news doesn't scare me now if you listen to this if you listen to what i'm trying to tell you and you got scared or terrified or you've seen what's happened within the last like three four months and you've been scared i don't know what to tell you i really don't like you need to work on yourself if you're one of those people that always chasing some butt always chasing a girl but you're scared with what's going on right now you're terrified that you're about to get the coronavirus what are you doing you're focused on the wrong things you're focused on some booty but you can't you're you're too scared to even leave your house like what is wrong with you all right so if you're scared right now from what i just told you or what's going on with the world you need to start focusing on yourself and realizing that fear is all in your mind fear does not actually exist all right so yeah that was the video of today there's a battle going on with these elites they're losing right now and that's why the world is so hectic because they're using everything in their power to try to to try to stay in power they're using everything in their power to try to stay in power but these elites are no longer going to be in power pretty soon so but before it gets better it has to get worse so just no second quarantine coming and that was the video all right guys i'll catch you guys in the next video and i'm out
in the game.